We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the, the number one station for independent artists. I'm cool like that. I'm cool. Great, great day today. We have the one and only Brittany Hendrix from Vision Woo! Oxnard in the building. Thank you. And before we get it going, Beautiful Brittany. before we get it going, hold on, hold on, one second, one second, one second, Brittany, Brittany, I need you to sign Here this we for go. me. Sign this for your boy. Oh, yes. Sign this for your boy. And listen, I have a special oh note as, as well, just in case if you don't know what to say, you can read that out loud, Brittany, <laughs> just in case. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Junior, you did your research. I did on my me. research. We are ready. Him. This is for me. So it, it, it says to Junior Leto, one of the greatest radio hosts of all time. Brittany Hendricks. So <laughs> and you could throw a heart on there just to make you know, okay. you know keep it consecutive. I'm gonna know. sum it up with a heart. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Abs- absolutely. I love that. Aww, okay. That's awesome. And I also have another one for you just in case you can sign Look up at as well. This. Thank you. I appreciate it. The, the Look at this. The gift that keeps on the giving. The gift that keeps on giving. The gift that keeps on giving. So can you tell the our cat a million years ago? So speaking of, how did you how did you even get for people that don't know what I'm talking about? Thank you. Brittany was a Laker girl. Yes. Right? How did that even come about? Um, I was a huge Lakers fan growing up, and my grandfather loved the Lakers. So ever since I was a little baby girl, I wanted to be a Laker girl. So that's awesome. When I was in middle school, I think, I started taking dance classes, and then I got on the dance team. And my goal the whole time was, I'm going to be a Laker girl. I'm going to be a Laker girl. And then I finally auditioned, and I made it. And I did it for four years. And um, I'm really lucky because I got to be a Laker girl during Kobe Bryant's Rain. Oh, wow. oh yes. that's awesome! So, yeah. did you get to meet Kobe Bryant as well? Of course, okay. of course. Really nice guy. Uh-huh. Um, and you know, my first year on the team was when the Lakers beat the Celtics. Uh, so Twenty ten. Yeah. He yeah. I, his, I was the here. man knows his history. I but do. he's uh, he's from Boston, but he's not a Celtics Ooh. fan. I'm a okay. Laker fan. <laughs> okay, you're forgiven. <laughs> so, so the funny thing about that is fun you bring that up because I always wanted to go to a parade, and that was mm-hmm. the first time I ever went to a parade. So wow. I'll always remember that. Not wow. a bad one to go to. Yeah, for that's, the first that's one. cool. Yeah, that's cool. A little little history. Yeah, I so, remember. So that. so you went from a Laker girl to what vice president of Visit Oxnard? But, I mean, you're skipping some <laughs> steps there, but yes, <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly how it went. So I, <laughs> yeah, that's just how it went. So, uh, what was your transition actually to Visit Oxnard, and what did you do for Visit Oxnard? Yeah. So, like I said, I wanted to be a Laker girl, and that was my goal as a dancer. And mm-hmm. once I did that, I was like, okay, what's next? I'm not going to be a tw- dancer I don't want to be an actress I don't want to be a model I'm not tall enough and okay you know that's just not my thing so um, I ended up by happenstance in a technical editing and writing role for an environmental research firm just wow. very um, very yeah not really me um, very mm-hmm. left field from yeah, Laker girl right. <laughs> totally different but um, I ended up you know it's all about who you know and I met someone who was in uh, tourism marketing and mm-hmm. I was like okay I might you know want to try this so I, I got into it I fell in love with it it's definitely going to be my career forever now. And wow. I, I mean, and what an amazing destination to represent to Oxnard is just gorgeous. So it actually, the destination kind of sells itself and yes. I'm just here to speak on its behalf. I love that. So love when that. did you start? Um, Cause I know you did some years with the Laker girls. So when did you exactly start with visit Oxnard? Yeah. Um, 2018. Okay. And I was actually pregnant with my little boy at the wow. time. So I started one day a week for a couple months and then oh, wow. I went on maternity leave. And I think that's a testament to the faith that my boss had in me to that's great. perform my role and my position mm-hmm. and went away for about six months. Uh, still kept in touch, was writing articles. I love writing. I'm So like I'm a blogger? A um, yes, like a tourism travel blogger, but also I just, I love to write. I love to write stories and fiction and I've just always loved coming up with crazy things. Okay. <laughs> You've written any books? No, but that is definitely a goal of mine long term. I don't have the time currently, but maybe when my little boy is a little bit older. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. That's wow. on the list. That, that's yeah. that's, that's on, the, on the list. That's on the list of many things. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Visit Oxnard, you guys do so many things for the community, uh, a lot of events, and we were uh, very gracious to go to the Dallas Cowboys training, training camp. Yeah. And that yeah. was. And how long had they been here? 
Oh my goodness, 16 years. Um, mm. There were some years where they didn't come. COVID was one mm-hmm. of them. There were a couple other years too, mm-hmm. but they've been here for 16 years since 2001. Okay. Yes. All right. And that, that and wow. Jared was here as well. Jerry's always here. Yeah, I'm I'm just, he don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's Jer- up, Jerry? What's up, Jerry? Yeah, come through, Jerry, Jerry Jones. <laughs> Jerry Jones. It yeah. is fascinating. So, what do you guys have next for Visit Locks? Or what's the next big thing? Or can you talk about it or not talk? Yeah, about I can talk about okay, it. Okay, let's let's go. Let's I'm go. Spill the dirt. All right. Okay. No, spill so the beans. We actually today have, um, if you've ever been to Oxnard Transit Center, the train station, we have a mural being painted oh, on wow, wow. the wall facing the trains as they go by so it's really going to be amazing it's um kind of that like vintage nostalgic greeting card type of welcome to oxnard and we have so i don't know if you know this but we have one of the biggest harbors in california for small craft recreation i didn't know that yeah Mm. you gotta ask me these things (laughs) i'll tell you um but we have a little harbor representative we got encyclopedia britannica over here seriously britannica i like it britannica (laughs) britannica there we go and um so we have our harbor seal he's the biggest harbor seal in the Channel Islands Harbor and we call him Shaquille the Seal. Shaquille, Shaquille the, the Seal. seal. <laughs> How cute. So he's going to be on the mural. Wow. That's How old awesome. is Shaquille the Seal? Sorry? How old is Shaquille the Seal? You do not ask him his age. You don't ask oh, Shaquille his oh, age? Oh, okay. Don't don't that longevity, that. huh? <laughs> Where did you guys find the painters for the mural? Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of an Instagram stalker. And okay. You don't know this, but Junior, I already knew who you were before he reached out to me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I love it. Yeah, we we found some really beautiful murals for mm. other destinations. Mm-hmm. And we found this artist who had done one in San Francisco and mm-hmm. had a okay. Lumina. So we're like, <laughs> that is the style that we want. Wow. And we're going to select That's you. That's awesome. We do like to work with Oxnard artists. But for this particular one, we did go to someone uh, from the Bay Area. Is it because th- their work was so good, you wanted to just go to them and it, it, it just caught your eye? Well, we already had something in mind for what we wanted. And it just, it was perfect. It was like perfect. It fit the aesthetic that we were going for. Wow. Now, for some of our listeners that may not be familiar with Visit Oxnard, can you kind of bring it together for them in a brief synopsis? Definitely. So the mission of Visit Oxnard is to bring overnight visitation to our city. That generates revenue for our local police, fire, um, Mm -hmm. city services. So we're really all about bringing tax revenue and business to our hospitality businesses. Um, And then we can reinvest in the community and make it a better place to live. Wow. Awesome. That's interesting. Now, what, what makes Oxnard so different from like Los Angeles? Port Wainimi, Camarillo. What, right. what is what is it about Oxnard that you just love Great different question. than these other cities? Yeah, so Oxnard is really close to LAX, so it's not hmm. difficult to get to, but is also out of market for these like giant destinations like LAX, San Francisco, even Santa Barbara is pretty well mm. known. We're such a hidden gem mm-hmm. that yeah. people don't necessarily know about us, and even right. people who drive through don't realize we're on the coast. Right, like you see the agricultural fields, yeah. and you think you're. You're yes. just passing through to, you know, Ventura, and then you're on the freeway over the ocean. But the cool thing about Oxnard is because the freeway is not on the beach, you can't hear car noise when you're hmm. chilling at the beach with your friends. That's We've right. got seven <clears throat> miles of pristine coastline, mm-hmm. and we're the closest access point to Channel Islands National Park. Mm. It is nicknamed North America's Galapagos for the <sighs> diversity of wildlife you'll find nowhere else on Earth. I feel like I'm with a tour guide. This I is know. amazing. I, I feel like she just made me want to like move <laughs> like, to Oxnard do, for do, a second. Do I even live here? I didn't even know this. <laughs> do I even live here? <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I didn't know I lived in Oxnard. This is lit. No, I think one of the things for me, and I always tell the both of them, is whenever I come here, the weather is just amazing. He, he does talk about that because you're in the valley, and when you get yes. here, it's just oh, a complete man. weather change. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a testament to why the Dallas Cowboys come here every right. mm-hmm. year, right? Like, right. the biggest name in the NFL, a global brand, mm-hmm. comes absolutely. to Oxnard in the summer because the weather is so amazing here. Oh, it oh. is. Absolutely, absolutely. Amazing. But, I mean, weather. we still have you here. We want to get into some of our other things, and we're going to get into Francois Facts really quick. You ready for that? Ooh, let's go. Yeah, let's so. do it. Let's go. Are you guys ready for Francois uh, Facts? Of course I'm ready. I don't know if Junior's on. ready. Uh, 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 yes, I am. I'm pretty sure we tied last week. But before... <laughs> Uh, no <laughs> Question one. 